So now, if we can cue up the music, let's bring on stage Dr. Dr. Jason Deitch. Thank you. Are we supposed to dance and rock and everybody wanna, how about everybody get up and give Mark Mandel a big round of applause for an outstanding. <laughs> outstanding. Brian McCauley and the leadership at Parker, I gotta say, it is a real pleasure to be here with you this morning. Thank you for taking your time, investing your time, waking up early. Uh, some of you were out way too late last night, I know that. No, I'm just kidding, I was in bed early. So it is an honor to be here with you this morning because we're gonna talk about something that is really very near and dear to my heart. How many of you, like myself, really love this thing called chiropractic? Show of hands. Good, that's almost every single one of you. <laughs> so you love this thing called chiropractic, as do I. And yet, how many of you, like myself, wonder what's going on? How is it that so many people out in the world don't understand what it is that we're talking about, right? How, how is it that, let me ask you a question. Are we as chiropractors so much smarter than the general public that we get this thing and they're just too dumb to understand? Is that, I mean, is that the reality of what's going on? Are they just not capable of getting it? Or, well, May, maybe the way we're describing it, and that's part of the issue here. I mean, Danny did an outstanding job. I agree with everything he's, he said. We have such amazing potential, and yet there's a world out there that has no idea what it is that we really do. Yes or yes? Okay. So I have to ask you, is it, you know, I was in practice for almost 10 years in Northern California, and I got to this point, maybe some of you have gotten to this point too, where you actually think that people don't care about their health, right? I mean, you give a great report of findings, your exam, your, you, you explain everything about what's going on and they don't accept your care plan. So the only conclusion you sort of can come up with is it's not me, it must be them, therefore they must what? They don't care about their health. I don't think that's true. So one of the common themes that resonated in the first presentation was this whole idea of communication. And ironically, we are a profession of what? Communication, right? This whole story we're talking about here is about communication of what we may want to call the internet in our bodies, right? It is the inner network here. And what is it that we as chiropractors use as our premise of what makes us unique as a profession, what makes our service unique and different? We do what? We restore communication. So let's just think for a moment. If we've got this beautiful thing that we have dedicated our lives to, called chiropractic and serving people, by restoring communication in the body through a thing we call the adjustment. Yes, is that what we do? Okay. And if most of the world doesn't understand it, what is the only obvious explanation for what's going on? Somebody. They don't know. They don't know. You've got a, a pharmaceutical and me medical industry that is bombarding the traditional media and the public with their message that toxic, and toxic drugs and dangerous surgeries is the way to better health. And we sit back and we like to pride ourselves on the fact that we can make a living, but I don't have to, I don't have to advertise, I don't have to market. And I say that's ridiculous. In fact, the busier your practice is, the more you should be sharing your message with the world, yes or yes. So what I wanna share with you here this morning are the specific details about what we can be doing individually in our practices to build our practice. Is there anybody here whose practice is so full they don't need any more new patients? I just, just so I know who I'm speaking with. If there's anybody that is totally packed, has no need and or interest in serving more people. Okay, so the rest of you here uh, are interested in figuring out ways in which you can be attracting more new people into your practice on a regular basis, show of hands. Great, how many of you would like to be part of a movement? Like, you know that whole like ecology thing, right? You think globally, act locally. Like if we have 300 or so people in this room, if everybody just sort of played their part, 
the collective impact might make a difference? How about it? How about if we all made a commitment to do one simple thing that took a minute a day or less, and collectively we had thousands of people around the world willing to do that one minute a day or less, is it possible that we could have an impact getting our beautiful, elegant, powerful, impactful message of chiropractic out to more people? What do you think? All right. So what I want to share with you over the next few minutes this morning, basically, is exactly why to do that and how to do that. And hopefully the why is pretty clear at this point. So I'm going to take a survey because uh, I get asked all, kind of, all kinds of questions about Facebook and what do I do, what should I do, what, what about Twitter, LinkedIn, all these other things. I'm going to answer a lot of those things. But just so I get a sense for where we are in this room, how many of you, by show of hands, please participate, how many of you right now presently are uh, using Facebook and I don't mean right this very second. Some of you probably are. <laughs> I mean, how many of you are using Facebook right now to promote your practices in your community? Show of hands. Wow, awesome. That's fantastic. That's, that's impressive, in fact. OK, how many of you are doing it and actually do believe that you're very competent at doing it? OK, that, there we go. <laughs> All right. So that's what we're going to speak to, is just about all of you, from what I saw, almost all of you are doing something, and hardly any of you think you have any real competency in doing what you're doing. So that's the perfect topic, so thanks for having me, because it's exactly what we want to address this morning. All right, so let's address a few things. If we can get the slides up on the board. Uh, real quick, just to give you my background, I was in uh, private practice for almost 10 years. Uh, in Northern California, in fact, I had the practice that Danny was describing earlier, spa-like, granite, beautiful views. It was an amazing place. Um, and I got to this point where I knew I could make a living for myself, but there was just much more to it. And uh, I had the great honor of working with uh, Bob Hoffman at the Master's Circle. I was the first chief wellness officer who wrote a book called Discover Wellness. My past 20 plus years has been really focused on how do we get our message out to the masses? How do we build a message that is so compelling that people have to have your services, our services? Not just when their insurance covers it, not just when the pain goes away, but because they understand the lifestyle benefits from birth till death. That's, the, that's my understanding of chiropractic. Yes, anybody else here with me on that? It's a lifestyle, is it? Okay, so if we think of it as a lifestyle, if you're like myself and you realize that there's really never a time in your future you can imagine not seeing your chiropractor and getting adjusted on a regular basis, how do we get that message out to the world is really what I've been trying to figure out for 20 plus years. And, uh, and a funny thing happened on the way to following my dreams. Uh, my now ex-wife, uh, just so you know, uh, was, the first director of, was the first director of marketing at Facebook. Uh, and so I live in San Francisco, I live in Marin County, around many of the people that in fact either invested in and or developed these technologies we call brand names. Uh, I've learned a few things along the way, and by combining my exposure to this and my passion for our message and story, I've developed a couple tools I'm going to share with you how to use today so that we can in fact achieve our dreams. And I'm guessing our dreams uh, have something to do with uh, being more effective in practice, yes? Being more effective by seeing more people, uh, being more effective by making a greater impact, being more effective by people having a greater appreciation for what it is that we do as chiropractors. Is that, is that your dream? And I don't mean it's your only dream. I know you want a Ferrari probably and all that other stuff, but those are all byproducts of doing our job, of serving people, of not just focusing on our needs, but on having such abundance in mind, attitude, and money, I dare say, to be able to give back to the great profession that has served us so well. So some of you have uh, some objections. And until we sort of handle some of these objections, we're going to have some issues. So uh, I know some of you have said things like, uh, I don't like Facebook because I don't really care what had somebody's had for breakfast this morning. Or I don't like computers. or there's all kinds of excuses. Now, the good news is I don't have to spend much time on this slide. Almost all of you are using Facebook in some fashion or format. So that's a good thing. Let's move right on because most of you get it. What I want to do today, though, is teach you confidently 
and confidently how to use this tool and turn it into what I think of as an automatic new patient referral machine. Right? How do you use this thing that most people sitting in your practice as you're waiting for them, as they're waiting for you, excuse me, they are probably sitting on your adjusting tables in your reception area scrolling on this thing. We know it, right? Okay. For better or worse, that's the way it is. So how do you use that tool that most of them have their face stuck in as a way in which they can be sharing you on a regular basis each and every day, almost automatically? Here's my premise. If more people in your community knew about you, if they knew about you, if they knew about what you do, if they knew about the benefits they would receive by working with you, your practice would be as busy as it could be. Is that fair? Right? That's a simple problem. And I'm not saying this will solve every single one of your problems. I am saying that when you solve this problem, all other problems become secondary. And I'm not talking about kids and health. I'm talking professionals. When you've got so many people willing to come to your practice and pay you out of their pockets, regardless of reimbursement or not, and you are as busy as you want to be whatever hours you choose to work, you will have enough income and enough pride to solve your other problems. Is that a fair assessment? Most of us, yeah. So let me take it one step further. Because if you've been in practice for more than a few minutes, you realize that all new patients are not the same. So I want to make a qualification, because a lot of, there's a lot of confusion that I hope to clear up this morning. Many of us think that this whole idea, you get calls from you know, website companies and internet marketers, and most of you get solicited all the time, every week. Somebody's calling you to pitch you on something that has to do with the internet, marketing, and first page of Google, and the whole thing. And most of you don't know what you don't know, so you don't know what sounds good or doesn't sound good. So you go with what a friend says, you go with what a buddy's doing, you go with all of them, you go with none of them, you don't know what you're going with. And I want to make the distinction this morning that a new patient who comes in by searching you on Google is not going to be the same kind of person that's a referral. It's an important distinction to understand. And I want you to think about this for a moment. If you were trying to make a decision about an attorney, a medical doctor, an accountant, a pediatrician, a psychologist, a marriage counselor, what, right? If you were making that decision, what would you do? Would you not ask a friend for recommendations or a series of friends? And how many of you who are on Facebook see this happen day in and day out? Hey, I'm looking for an auto mechanic. Anybody know anybody in the area? So we have come to believe somehow that the holy grail of this whole internet marketing thing is to be on the first page of Google. And I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's far from what it is that I think you have the potential to really be using to generate, I think of as high quality new patient referrals. Because the person that goes to a search engine looking for a chiropractor is somebody who first and foremost what? Has no... And I don't know if that's the kind of new person you want in your office, number one, unless they just moved to town. Because they're not going to refer that many people and they're probably not that friendly. Besides that, how do you differentiate yourself on the first page of Google? Right? How does somebody go to this and make a choice, right? Type in, go to your, pick out your phones. In fact, you should have your phones out. I'm going to share with you a few things as we go that you'll want to participate as you're going. So pull out your phones or iPads or laptops or everything you have. If you type in chiropractor in your town, and go ahead and try it if you want to, into a, whatever search engine you want, and you see what comes up, and you put yourself in the mindset of somebody who's searching for a chiropractor, how are you going to choose? Option one, whoever's closest. Purely random, right? Option two, the person who's got the best deal. How else do you choose? Reviews is another one, and that's something you've got to proactive, should proactively be on top of, and we've got solutions for that. It's exactly correct. Okay? So if you're looking at the first page of Google, you're typically going for geography, reviews, or the best special offer or best deal. 
And as Danny brought up earlier, do you want to be the person who's got the best deal on Google? Is that, is that your claim to fame? Okay, you're probably not going to put up, I'm the one with the highest fees, although you should have the highest fees, but that's not what's going to get the most people in that context. So, I want to make the distinction that you want to take new people from Google, that's great, but I want to take a referral from somebody who knows, knows me, loves me, and trusts me, has been with me for a while, who understands the lifestyle care that I provide, and is having their friends finally come in. Is that a reasonable approach? Was that what we would all like? Let's figure out how to do that really quickly. A referred patient is somebody who likely somehow has gotten to your Facebook page, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. And if you're familiar with how Facebook pages work, you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, there are reviews, there are ratings, but you can also see how many of your friends are already connected to that practice. So you tell me, if somebody ends up at your practice's Facebook page and they see that nobody is connected to your Facebook page, or they see that five of their friends are already connected to your Facebook page, which would you rather have? The more people you can get connected to your Facebook page and the more people that get driven there and the more they see their friends are already connected to you, you don't have to sell anything anymore, do you? At this point, you have to not screw it up. Because when people come to you because they're referred, because they have a friend, family member, or somebody they trust, they will drive past dozens of chiropractors to get to your office. Is that true? In fact, I'll go so far as to say that people don't buy chiropractic, they buy you. Chiropractic is not like gasoline. You don't pull over at the closest one and fill her up. People will drive past dozens. In fact, they'll fly in some cases. They'll drive hours to see you, not just to get chiropractic care, but to see you. And so as we talk about a new consciousness, a new way of doing things, we talk about reinventing ourselves. If you've been in practice for a long time, today's the day to reinvent yourself. If you're new, today's the way to invent yourself in, I'll say, a more relevant and easy way. That is where people are. So let's show some examples. This is a three-step process. So for those of you that said, I don't feel very confident and confident with what I'm doing, I do not want you to walk out of this room feeling that same way. There are three steps to this process, as you can see. Number one, you've got to put your best face forward on Facebook. I've gone to hundreds of chiropractors' Facebook pages, and they look horrendous. You should be embarrassed. I don't mean you necessarily. Well, maybe you. I don't know. But like your practice, a spa-like atmosphere, you never have a second chance to make a great first impression. This is where people are. If they go to your Facebook page and they see a picture of a building or nothing, which is the majority of fa Facebook pages for chiropractors I see, you got a problem number one, okay? So, step one is you put your best face forward. Step two, you have to post every single day, in some cases multiple times a day. And this, ladies and gentlemen, up until recently has been the hard part. And we've solved that for you, so you no longer have the luxury of an excuse not to do what I'm sharing with you today. And number three, the one thing that we can't do for you is to build your local audience. And I'm going to share with you easy ways to do this. Most of us are stuck in what I call the paradox. And the paradox is that you say to yourself, why would I invest time in posting stuff to my Facebook page when there's nobody there? I only have five people connected to my Facebook page. What am I going to waste my time focusing on talking to five people? The reason you only have five people there <laughs> is because there's not much value you're sharing with people and then putting signs up in your practice that go, like us, is not enough. It's like saying, I've got a phone number. Call me. It's an awesome number. There's seven digits. It's, it's, it's silly. So. I'm going to hopefully, for once and for all, make this all make sense so that you can get back on Monday, even later today, whenever you want to, start working on what I think of as your online wellness resource center, the gift you have to give to your community. How many of you have been in practice and know all day long you get what? Questions. Who should I see for this? What should I do for this? If I feel this, what should I do? You get questions all day long. 
Why not save yourself some time and energy and money for that matter and start building this thing as a resource that answers all these questions that people can go to, learn from, and share with their friends? Saves you time and gives them the tools they need in order to be able to share you with others. You have a practice probably half full of people that would be willing to refer if they only could. They can't translate what we do, so let's give them the tools and the resources they need to click a button and share directly from the source. Does all this sound pretty decent, pretty cool, pretty good? Yes? Round of applause if you're interested? Okay. All right. Okay, good. Me too, because this is some good stuff, really good stuff. So if you'll notice on the left side, that is what most chiropractic practice Facebook pages look like. If you look at the right, you'll notice there's something a little bit different. It's inviting. In fact, it tells them what to expect when they get there. Look at some of these. Thanks for visiting our community. Here's what you can expect. Ask us questions. Check out our reviews and other tools and get a daily dose of inspiration. Who doesn't want a daily dose of inspiration? I want to be the person who inspires you day in and day out, not just when you're here in the office. But every day I want to make a positive contribution to make your life better. Some people might want some of that, yeah? Should you not be the source of that inspiration for people in your community, whether they're in your office or not? Yes? Yes. Okay. So let's get into some of this stuff. It's easy to make your Facebook page look good, but you don't do it because you don't see the value of your page. Hopefully by now you're going to see the value in your page, that if you'll invest in making it look good, you've got a higher percentage chance of people sticking around and sharing with it. The next part of this, of course, is the st second step, which is posting. Posting, 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 posting. It's a pain in the ass. There's no question about it. It's a hassle. It's not easy. Until now. Most people don't. What do I post? Where do I post it? How often do I post? What should I say? What shouldn't I say? And as was brought up earlier, you can't keep posting chiropractic is good for this, chiropractic is good for that. Did you know chiropractic is good? Did you know chiropractic is good? Because guess what I know you're going to tell me next? And that's not what I want to hear as a consumer, is it? I know what you do and what you're trying to sell me is good. I know it. I know you think it is anyway. And I know you think telling me is going to make my life better. However, that's not what people are really interested in, is it? People are interested in them and how you can make their life better. And so that's the conversation we got to be putting out there on a regular basis. Which leads me to there are three types of posts you should be posting. Three types of posts you should be posting, okay? One is what I call a daily dose of inspiration. And I'm going to show you exactly where and how to sign up so that you can have access to a 100% free library of the world's best images, inspirational images of chiropractic, lifestyle, fitness, inspiration. Everything I'm sharing with you today is 100% free. It's 100% what? Okay, let's make sure we're clear on that. And I'm going to show you exactly how to set that up, set up a free account, so that you can in fact, and or your staff can in fact, post every day, find great free images that with one click you will be able to in fact share on your Facebook profile, multiple Facebook pages, multiple Twitter accounts, LinkedIn accounts, certain blogs depending on, with one click that you can in fact schedule a week's worth of posts in 10 minutes or less. Is that good? Okay. Pardon? Awesome, exactly. So, number one is a daily dose of inspiration. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Number two, you want to communicate. How many of you do workshops? You're out speaking in the community. You volunteer. You do good things. You have testimonials in your office. Yes? Yes? Let's be sharing those with our community so they can be sharing it with their friends so this tool becomes a what? a new patient referral machine. If you give these posts to your audience, and they're good posts, not just buy what I'm selling you, but good posts that make a difference in people's lives, they will share them. And then number three is you get questions every single day. I'm going to show you briefly here today, and if you stay in touch with us, you'll see more continuing education about how you can build your Facebook page into a wellness resource library. Okay, let's get moving. 
Here are some examples of great looking posts. Most of you, you're, you're in line getting coffee, you're sitting on the toilet, you're talking to me or whatever, and you're scrolling through Facebook, right? And these are the exact type of posts that you're used to seeing. Quick, easy hits, they don't want abstracts, they don't want articles. Just give me a nice little dose of something that's going to make me feel good and keep you on my mind. Okay? The best doctor gives the least medicine. That's true. Thanks, doc. Good point. Okay? Health is your natural state of being. I never thought of it that way. Thanks, doc. Chiropractic is uh, health assurance. Premium, small, dividends, large. I never thought of it that way. Thanks, doc. Boom. Daily dose. Raindrops become the flood. All right. The habits that uh, took us years to build do not take a day to change. It's probably a pretty good idea to make sure people understand that it's not just crack my neck so I feel better and I'm out of here and I'll call you when I feel better again or when I'm hurting again. Right? These are the messages that start planting the philosophy and the consciousness behind it. So here's how you do it. Is there anybody who's using Amplified now, our tool Amplified? That's awesome. Show me a show of hands. Awesome. Rick, you're using it? You loving it? You want to share anything about it? All right. You want to come on up and help me with this? Everybody knows the great Rick Wren. Round of applause. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to ask you in a moment to share some of your experience. But very simply, this is what the library looks like. When you set up your account, which some of you can do today if you'd like to, this is what will happen when you click any one of those share buttons. You have multiple networks that you can post to. If you don't want to post to something, you uncheck it, and then boom, it shows up right in your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and whatever. As simple as that, and 100%. Thank you. So, Rick, tell me about how you're using it. Well, I've been doing it for a, a couple of years, and, and I want to validate it is 100% free. He's never billed me one time <laughs> for it. Um, Nor will I. No, and nor will he. Um, and there is a way that I go in and you click on it, uh, pick out what you want, and you click on schedule, and then you schedule it to run either that day, next day, um, and you can tell it how many times a day you want it to run. Um, but then I also post, uh, you know, a lot of other stuff that I just, I've got over 4,000 friends, so I just go through and steal their stuff, you know, to have that 90% other stuff. And then I use Jason's stuff to do the 10%. Um, and uh, it's really pretty easy. And then I notice a lot of you, my 4,000 friends, are stealing my stuff <laughs> that I actually stole from him. <laughs> You're not even joined with Amplified, which I'm going to tell you is a huge disservice to this, this guy because he has invested hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this. I, you know, I don't know for sure, but... Just That's knowing true. what I know about technology, I believe that to be true. It's true. And when he has all these people in his community that are sharing his free post, it helps his situation to do other things. So when you're stealing it from me, when I stole it from him, but he gave it to me. Okay. We call it sharing, actually. But Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're, you're actually hurting what he is trying to accomplish. Right. So uh, I, I just I can't tell you enough that join Amplified and start sharing this free stuff. And I don't know, how many people are doing Amplified We're right now? We're at about 6,100 people doing it now. 6,100? 6, yeah, 6,100. 6, people, and how long has Registered. Amplified existed? About 18 months. About 18 months. And when it's free, and it's the way of the future, that, that number should easily, easily be 15,000. Wouldn't you agree with that? Uh, at least. At least. At least. So I couldn't tell you enough that he's probably in a few minutes going to show you exactly how to get on there and get it done and get signed up today because it yep. doesn't take but a minute. And I just couldn't tell you enough that you ought to do that. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank the others of you who are, have raised your hands for using it. Look, this is a tool that allows us the opportunity to share great messages about the chiropractic story. And imagine what it would be like if we had 20, 30, 40,000 chiropractors around the world who were sharing the message with hundreds of people locally in our community. Do you think we might be able to have an impact? Do you think more people might get our message? You see revolutions going around around the world because of social media. 
So if we want to have a chiropractic revolution, I'm telling you this is the tool for us to be able to start making it happen. So uh, if we go back, let me just, I'm going to fly through this because we don't have a lot of time. Any questions you have, I'll be here this afternoon, and you can always connect with me online as well through Facebook, of course. So um, when you sign up, you connect your social media channels. Again, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook page, blogs, Tumblr. You connect them all at one time. It may take you three to five minutes the first day to connect these things. A little bit longer if you have, don't remember my password and all the other wonderful excuses people like to come up with. But if you're doing it and you just start clicking the buttons, you can get through it in about three to five minutes and then it's literally about a minute a day or less. When you sign in, you go to, I'll show you the website in just a moment, but this is what it looks like. You sign in. There's even a mobile app. You find the post that you want. You can even personalize the post. So if you want to put in your phone number, your website, a call to action of some sort, you put that in. If you don't want to deal with any of that stuff, just press the button. It's that simple. Pick the networks you want to. You can either share it immediately in real time, or you can schedule up to seven days in advance. So literally, you or your staff, within 10 minutes or less, can schedule an entire week's worth at one time. You should all just go, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. So here you go. You can schedule it. You can, uh, these again are example screenshots of what you'll see. And then with one click, you'll see it'll show up on your Facebook page, your Twitter account, your LinkedIn account, and so on and so forth. Next, you should be, as Rick said, you should, this isn't the only thing you should be doing. You should be sharing pictures and exciting things that are going on in your office, your workshops, what's coming up, where you're going to be, your sense of humor. And then you should be answering the most common questions that people have. People ask you, what mattress should I sleep on? What sneakers should I use? What pillows should I use? What supplements should I take? What should I, what should I do, doc? And this is a great place to build a video library of your favorite recipes or favorite things you like to do. I work with Standard Process. Every year they do the purification program. You can share, you do your own videos that share your favorite things. When people ask you, that's a great question. That's something we have a great feature in our Wellness Resource Center. Check it out. And by the way, when you go there, please, if you have a comment about it, leave your comment. If you like what it is that, it, that you see, please click the like button. And if you know somebody you think that would benefit from this, please go ahead and share it. So encourage them. Prime the pump. Tell them what you'd like them to do. That's part of building our wellness community. All right, moving right along. Uh, and, of course, testimonials. Make sure it's HIPAA compliant. Make sure that everybody is in, on the OK. You know how to do this if you're hanging them in your office. They can leave them or you can put them up there as well. These types of signs and pictures work really well because nobody likes to read anymore. So everybody likes to just look at the picture, OK? OK, so my recommendations for posting strategies. This is our abridged version today. Hopefully, we'll keep connected, and I'll give you much more details if you need them and want them. You should be posting, in my opinion, approximately three times a day, around breakfast time, around lunch time, and in the evening, around either dinner or afterwards. That's when most people check their Facebook feed. Some of you are checking it all day long. Others who have real jobs do it in the morning, do it at lunch, do it in the evening. Okay. Then, of course, office updates you should be doing on a regular basis. If you're going to be speaking somewhere, if you're going to be coming to a training, if you're going to be doing some sort of community service, that's great stuff. People should know that. You're a real human being. You're not just a technician. People are going to want to work with you because of who you are. This is an amazing place to share who you are. Most of you know this within your practice. You've got pictures of you with celebrities and influencers in town. This is the way to make it available for people who already love you to share you with their friends. I know that guy. Oh, I didn't know that you know that celebrity. That's fantastic. This is actually how we make decisions, not because there's a new research paper that says chiropractic is now good for something else. The fact that you shook hands with Arnold Schwarzenegger might get more people to come see you than Harvard Medical Journal. Anyway, and then your recommendations when appropriate. And then the last part, and this is the, the, I'll say the only challenging part to what there is these days, now that we've made it easy for you to post, is to start building your audience. And as far as I'm concerned, that's just doing your job by speaking up. In my opinion, your job is not just to adjust. Your job is to share your love, passion, and enthusiasm for life and for serving people. 
That's your job. And if you do that job, you'll get the opportunity to be able to adjust more people. But just saying, well, I'm a technician, I just want to adjust, I'm sorry, is not enough. You're a messenger. You're a leader. You are an inspirer. You have a passion for making people's lives better. Yes or yes. This is your amplifier. This is your stage. This is the easiest way, for goodness sakes, to put yourself and what you do in the face of thousands of people every single day, over and over and over again, for free. You couldn't actually ask for a better tool. If you sat down and tried to design a way in which you could communicate with as many people as possible to share your chiropractic message with your community, you could not invent a better tool. So I'm begging you to get involved and overcome whatever objections or prejudices or issues or fears or overcome it. Get over it. You want your practice to be as full as you want it to be? You want this profession to be at the mountaintop as it should be? and is not only because of us, then what I'm sharing with you today is our pathway to get there. So how do you build your social network? I think it goes something along these lines. You know, I became a chiropractor because my passion is to serve as many people as possible. That I think that there is a newer, easier, more effective way to get well and stay well naturally without the use of dangerous drugs and surgery. And as part of my mission in life, my goal is to reach as many people as possible in our community and make sure that they've got the resources, the information and access to the tools they need to make the right decisions about how to live a healthy lifestyle. And that's why we've built this, what I think of as a wellness resource center and community. It's a place where I and the people in our practice share their favorite people, places, and products that I recommend and they use. And I'm inviting you to be a part of that. If you live here in town and you're interested in raising a drug, healthy, drug-free family, or you're interested in high performance, you're interested in what you can do to live a high-quality life, then this is a place you may want to consider joining. It's all free. All you do is go, click the Like button. You probably spend much of your day on one of these networks anyway. And when you see something that you like, please just take a moment and click the Like button. There's a principle I want you to be aware of, that the more you engage, the better results you're going to get. It's a principle. If you go to a class, a school, a training, the more you engage, the better results you're going to get. It happens in this practice. The more you engage, the better results you're going to get. It's just a universal law. It's a universal principle. The more you'll engage, even in this wellness community, by clicking the like button, by leaving a comment, and by sharing these posts with people in your community, I'm telling you the better results you're going to get. It's the way life works. So please, hand them some sort of card like this that gives them exactly how to go there, that inspires them for a daily dose of inspiration, and simply share. That's what we're here to do. That's the principle of Parker from the get-go. Let's share share our love, and encourage others to share as well. Does that sound easy and reasonable? Easy to do? It's what we should be doing anyway? Now you actually have something to share in the place that they're all spending most of their day, for better and for worse. So let me close up on a few things. The website you want to go to, and we had a spelling issue, so if you want to go to sharechiropractic.com, sharechiropractic.com, you sign up completely for free. There's no charge. There won't be. There's no tricks, no yeah buts, no any of it. Okay? You sign up. You connect your social networks. If you have questions when you sign up, there's a support team. Go to support at amplified.com. Ask your questions. You'll receive what we call our daily digest, which means we're going to email you the top three posts to make it even easier. You don't even have to go back to the site after you've signed up. You'll receive emails with the top three posts that say share. Pick and choose what you want. It is that simple. So I'll stick around for a, a while afterwards. I'll be here all day. But let me close by saying this. 
your practice is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of the message, the passion, and the commitment you've made to sharing you and chiropractic with your community. That, that's, your practice is made up of that. And so if you want a larger practice, if we collectively truly want our profession to be understood and used at the level that we all envision it to be, then it's time for us to do something about it. That it's enough with the complaining and the whining and the blaming. If more leaders would just do this, if the associations would just do that, if the medical profession just would stop, stop, it's enough. You have every opportunity to build your practice in the vision and dreams that you have. If more people in your community knew what you knew, if more people in your community knew about you and the benefits that they would receive by working with you, your practice would be as busy as it can be, as busy as you want it to be. You'd make as much money as you want to be, and you'd, ma you'd make as much of a difference in as many people's lives as you would want to make. As far as I'm concerned, that's what we're all here for, yeah? So please, participate, get involved, click the button. Click the button. It's that simple. It's become my motto at this point. It's so silly. Just click the button. Pay somebody to click the button. I don't care. Just do it. Get the message out there. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Mark. I love and appreciate you all.